All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Today I want to talk about something that has just revolutionized my life around here. Uh, and that is a new way, a new chainsaw sharpener. Many of you guys who've been around uh, chainsaws and chainsaw sharpening for years have probably seen this. Uh, but it's it's something that I have finally purchased and uh, and I've used it a couple times and it really has made a huge difference in, uh, in in just running my chainsaw and sharpening it and keeping keeping chain sharp. When I first got into you know cutting wood, we first moved out here, started heating with wood, um, and and I've said this many times, we heat with wood at an indoor wood stove. I have an outdoor wood boiler that we heat the greenhouse with, and then during this time of year, I'm also uh, getting wood for our maple syrup evaporator. So we burn a lot of wood here, which means that I am constantly in the woods or at someone else's house or some farm field somewhere, collecting wood, cutting wood, and, and doing all those things. And the biggest pain, and the, biggest, the, the hardest part about this whole process, honestly, is, is keeping a good sharp chain. It makes all the difference in the world. If you're gonna run a chainsaw and, and you have to you know, deal with a dull chain, it, it's, it just makes the job so much more difficult. And finding an easy way that's reliable, a good way to continually sharpen a chain, you know, 10, 15, 20 times through a life of a, of a chain, or maybe even even more than that, it just makes a huge difference if you can find good tools uh, to, to accomplish that job. And I, I'll admit, I've been pretty cheap over the years. And so let me show you what I've been using, uh, the different things that I've tried, and then I'll show you the, the new tool that I got that has just uh, revolutionized this whole process for me, made things a lot easier and better. And then we'll, uh, we'll put it to use and uh, just show you how well it works. Okay, so this is the kit that I normally just take around with me. Uh, I got this. It's a, I think it's a county line. Um, I don't know if it has a label on it. I got it at TSC or Family Farm and Home, one of those. Uh, this little kit. Uh, this didn't come with it. I got this separately. This is a grease uh, grease gun for the bar on my Husqvarna uh, chainsaw. My steel doesn't need this, but uh, um, this is just a grease gun for, for the bar. Um, and I've got my, my tools here, my bar tools. Uh, this is the steel one, the bigger one, and then I've got my Husqvarna one. I keep those together. And then this little kit comes with a guide, uh, a file guide, several different sized files, just depending on what, uh, what size you know, chain you have, um, and then a handle that's multi-purpose. So you've got the, the file here for the, for the rakers or the depth, depth gauges. You, you put it in there, you can do those. And then you've got the, um, the guide here that goes along the bar. Uh, this gives you the, the angle and the depth to help to uh, uh, run your, your uh, file through. You mount the file in this guide. And it's just, this whole thing is, is just kind of a pain to put together and, and use. What ends up happening for me anyway, and I've, I've run quite, quite a few chains through these saws, two different saws. Uh, what, is that, what ends up happening is you get your, your file out and you do your, your sharpening, you know, you go this way. And then you flip your bar around and then you come at it from this side and you're sharpening this state. The, the, the changing in, in sides to me, I'm a little stronger one way than I am in the other way. And what ends up happening after you, uh, you know, sharpen the chain maybe 15, 20 times, you know, this way gets a little bit sharpened, a little different than, than these teeth do. And you end up getting, a, when you're cutting through the logs, you end up getting curves, you'll, you'll, it'll curve, uh, it, it, you know, it cuts differently on one side, one tooth, than it does the other, and it just ends up binding, and you just don't get a good smooth cut. Um, and, and then you end up having to throw the chain out or put it on a grinder, which I also do sometimes. I have a bench grinder uh, chain uh, sharpening system that I've used before, a buffalo one. Uh, and so these are fine, you know, and the guides are just kind of a clinky pain. I've got another guide that I got with my Husqvarna that clamps on here. Um, and, and it, you know, sh is supposed to be just right. And I've used that for a while too, and, and my chains got all goofed up. So what I honestly do 90% of the time is I, I just freehand it. Um, I, I try to try to do the best job that I can and, and follow these teeth. I you generally do three to five swipes. I try to follow the the laser etched you know line on the tooth to keep my angle correct and and uh, this way you know it's not perfect but this is just the fastest way I found to do it and so I generally freehand it I go from both sides you know uh, of course not at this angle I actually set it down and, and do it uh, do it properly but this is uh, what I've been using and and it's okay it, it works all right I, I've been able to keep my chains sharp and keep running you know for years that way and, and things have done pretty well 
And then the other process of uh, filing these uh, depth gauges or rakers, whichever you want to call them, uh, I just generally freehand that also. So I'll just you know knock these down a couple a couple swipes, and I'll I'll go through and do that. Um, you know each time or every other time I, I sharpen the chain. But the new tool that I got from Steel is is an all-in-one deal, and it is absolutely amazing. So let's set it up, and I'll show you how it works. I'll get this chain tightened up a little bit. And uh, we'll, we'll show you how this thing works. It, it really is, it, it's awesome. This isn't going to be a, a how to sharpen a chain, uh, a chainsaw chain necessarily, but this is the tool that uh, that I got from Steel, and this is uh, not cheap. And the reason that I have not bought this, I've seen it over the years. I know a couple other homesteader people, Wrangler Star uh, has used this and and really liked it. Uh, it's expensive. It's it's not a cheap cheap setup and so i'm pretty cheap and i've always uh <laughs> I've, I've continued to put this off because i didn't want to spend the money but man am i glad i did uh this thing is is just great so how it works is uh you actually have a guide right here at the end of the tool and it tells you okay you're going to be sharpening this way so i'll flip it around so it gives you an arrow this is the way you're sharpening it gives you a picture of the chain and the, or the chainsaw how it's going to be positioned and how you're going to be which tooth you're sharpening from this angle on the other side it will flip it back around here it shows you here's the chainsaw and then this is the way you're sharpening with the teeth on on this angle and so this is the way i have the chainsaw set up right now and so we're going to be sharpening this tooth and this tooth and this tooth, so the ones that are uh, the right hand teeth. The way this works is there's two round files in there at different positions, and then there's this flat file. And so you're gonna set the bottom round file, this one right here, in, in that tooth. So it sits right in there. It has a guide that sits on the tooth in front of it. It has a guide that sits on the top of that tooth. So it sets your round file at the perfect depth to just get the edge of that tooth. And then the flat file sits right on top of the raker and gets that raker as you go by. So it does, it's an all-in-one tool. It gets everything set exactly how it needs to be. I'm gonna show you a top-down uh, view of this. You can see exactly how it sits in here. If we have this tooth right here, so the round file will sit right in that tooth and it's, it's just perfect. You can line up the bar here uh, as you're filing with the laser etched line on the tooth. So you make sure you keep it at the right angle and then you just just run it. And, I, and my tripod's in the way here so I can't run it fully, but as you run it through, you put a little downward pressure on that and it just, it just gives you the perfect, perfect sharpening. Everything is, is checked as you're as you run it across here, the depth guide is is set to the exact right uh, height. The tooth is sharpened right at the right spot. You're not too deep, you're not too high, and your angle is really easy to keep because of the way this this is set up. I can I can watch it as I as I sharpen across that tooth. Man, what a what a it just feels nice. So so I generally, you can put a mark on the tooth before, you know, as you go around, but I generally start at this uh, master link. It's yellow um, on my chain. And so I know when, where I started and where I finish. You can get these in different sizes. So it doesn't have to be a steel brand uh, saw. Uh, any chain, you know, that has the, the matching uh, file size and, and everything you can use this tool on. And so I'll be using this for both my Husqvarna and steel chains. I, I buy the same chain for both. Uh, and man, what a what a perfect tool! All right, so let's let's get this uh, let's run this sharpener over it, uh, this chain, uh, one time here. We'll go all the way through both sides. Uh, I, I've just sharpened this chain yesterday, and I haven't run a full tank of gas through it, so it's already decent. But uh, we'll get it nice and nice and razor sharp, and then we'll run it through a, a cherry log here and just see see how it does.
so I know that wasn't a, a great test because it was a, a hollow a hollow log but uh, it's just uh, it's all I have laying around here today I'm running low on wood but the real result the real test is what the shavings look like and when you see when you see shavings like that when you see nice long curls and you can pull some of these out here that tells you you've got a nice sharp tooth uh, when it's peeling off chunks of pieces of wood that big that tells you you've got nice nice sharp teeth so man just look at that that's uh that's exactly how it should be should be cutting you know this is this is right back to just like a brand new chain and again i know it's time wise and, and cut times and stuff like that through a solid piece of wood obviously is going to be different um, but you could just tell hopefully just by this example of you know just how it's nice and smooth and and straight uh, it's cutting through um, cherry is a, is a pretty decently hard wood even though this was hollow it's still um, it can be a challenge for uh, for dull chains that's for sure so just a, a shorter video today uh, on this thing I've been wanting to share this with you guys what an awesome uh, awesome tool uh, way to sharpen I, I've like I said I, I've tried everything uh, that I've seen on the market and other things that are cheaper and although this is pricier it's definitely the most expensive uh, sharpening set I've, I've bought it, it hands down works the best and higher quality files of course they're going to last longer and uh, it seems to be a pretty well built little tool it is plastic on the ends which you know it'd be nice if it was all all metal but um, it seems to be pretty it's pretty tough though anyway I don't even think that uh, I don't even think I'll break it Maybe I shouldn't say that. But uh, let me know what you guys think. You know what? Sharpening chains is just not something I'm, I'm a fan of. I like cutting wood. Uh, that's my favorite part of the whole process. I like cutting and chopping and splitting and processing wood. I just am not a fan of stopping and having to sharpen my chain. And then, you know, having the result not be great after you're done sharpening and, and getting back out and cutting wood. And it's just not, you know, you just, I just feel like I could never get back to that that uh, factory edge and and this feels like it's even better than the factory edge so uh, i'm happy with that uh, i've only been using it for a few times now and so let me know if you have experience with it uh, what you think uh, but as far as i can tell so far it is uh, it is a great great tool and of course share your other uh, tips and tricks and other things in the comments i always get lots of feedback whenever i uh, i deal with sharpening chains so i'd love to hear from you guys share what you know with uh, everyone else watching as well don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video and of course subscribe to the SSL Family Dad channel if this is your first time stopping by. We'd love to have you tag along. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.